Well, howdy folks, how's it going? It's been a while since I've done one of my in-car videos. Yeah, so forgive me if I'm a little bit out of practice. Yes, I'm driving the brick wagon as you can see from the vastness of this space behind me. So the 10 kilometer radius uh, has already been lifted, but we are still, well, we as in Selangor and Wilaya are still in phase one of the uh, NRP, National Recovery Program. And uh, that means no cross district travel, much less uh, interstate travel. I, I, I miss the interstate travel. I miss driving to Chirating. So the moment that's lifted, um, I'm definitely going. There have been a lot of, uh, of uh, leeway added to those who are fully vaxxed. Um, yours truly is. I'm very happy to say thank you. Thank you to the government of Malaysia for giving me fully vaxxed. I'm very happy about that. Car washes have opened. So yes, that's why I'm driving the brick wagon out. It's been a good, uh, what, two, two and a half, almost three months since she's had a proper wash. Yeah, I mean, as I've always said, once it rains, you know, try and wipe the car down. But uh, because I've got so many cars, it's kind of difficult to do. So I'm taking this car for a nice wash, much needed and much deserved. So, okay, uh, some news that I need to tell you. Um, Crisscross Tuesday will be on hold for a while. I'm actually taking a sabbatical because um, I was finding that uh, getting stressed and, and anxious about not being able to shoot outdoors. Yeah, it's phase one, we're still not allowed to shoot outdoors. So getting stressed and uh, not, you know, feeling very pressured about this was not doing my mental capacity any, any favors. And uh, I decided that, you know what, let's write off 2021. Yes, I know we're just in August, but let's write off 2021 because I don't want to keep waking up every day thinking, are they going to lift the uh, ban? Are they going to go into phase two, phase three, whatever? And, um, you know, being worried and anxious about that. Stress is a killer. And honestly, folks, at my age, being semi-retired, one of the reasons why I, I, um, I work so hard to actually become semi-retired now, uh, after the age of 50, yes, I am 53 this year, um, was because I wanted to be more stress-free. I realized that uh, the stress was really getting to me. And uh, some people have remarked that, you know, I don't look my age, which I thank you for the compliment. At my age, all compliments are graciously uh, accepted. Thank you very much. But uh, I realized that stress is a killer um, and it's a known fact, it, it really is. And I didn't want to get up every morning being stressed about, can I go out and shoot? Are they going to lift the ban? So I decided that, you know what? 2021 is pretty much a write-off. Honestly, 2021 is pretty much a write-off. And uh, I've decided to take a leave of absence from the scene for the rest of the year. I mean, who knows, you know? It's, it's better to actually look forward to 2022 and uh, be happy when 2022 comes about and more uh, restrictions are lifted than to wake up every morning feeling stressed and uh, very, very in doubt about whether, whether you're, not, you're gonna make it through the day without getting a headache or yeah, it was giving me headaches, high blood pressure and that kind of sh stuff <clears throat> you don't need anytime, at any age, much less when you're going on, you know, half a century and uh, half your life is over. Yeah, I mean, I'm very practical and, and you know, realistic about these things. Half my life is over because uh, I don't think I'm gonna live to be 100 or uh, 106, you know, 53 times two. But uh, I'm gonna live every day like, you know, it's um, my last because you never know when it's gonna be your last day. It's true, it's, a, it's morbid and it's horrible to say, but you really don't know when your last day is gonna come about. Every day you pass your death anniversary without even knowing. Think about that for a while, every day. So that's why I've always said, you know, um, it's called the present. When you live in the present, it's called the present because it's a gift. It's a gift of life, so make the most of it. And I found that um, getting stressed and anxious and, and you know, high blood pressure was not the way to live, really. Uh, like I just said, I've worked hard to, to get to this point in my life where I'm semi-retired and very happy with what I'm doing. But uh, I don't want to wake up every morning being uh, anxious and stressed and, you know, get my high blood pressure going and all that. It, it's not a way to live. So I've written off 2021. Uh, I will do occasional updates like this. Uh, maybe I'll do a couple of lives, like, you know, the last time just me. And uh, I, will, I will probably, you know, guest on um, Con and Bobby and Thomas's show once in a while. 
but as far as uh, uploading car reviews and stuff like that shooting outdoors I'm not gonna worry about it anymore really I'm it's not worth the uh, stress about worrying what I can do I'm so thankful for all of you I still have over 20,000 subscribers which and every one of you is, is so um, I'm so happy to have all of you here listening to my ramblings and uh, I guess once in a while I'll shoot from my den or I'll do this an in-car an in-car shoot I'll, maybe I'll do a solo live once in a while but uh, I'm not gonna worry about uploading car reviews and stuff like that because it really wasn't worth the um, detriment to my mental and uh, even physical you know in your physical state because when you are stressed and when you are anxious about stuff your eating habits become weird your sleeping habits become weird it's uh, it's not a nice way to live so yes we are still in uh, lockdown pretty much phase one of the NRP and there's nothing we can do about that you know so it's it's useless worrying about stuff you have no control over uh, I remember a famous quote that says um, what was it how, how did it go um, worrying about stuff you have no control over is like chewing gum to swallow to to solve algebra you know you're not gonna solve algebra by chewing gum and uh, that's 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 something I had I had to remember and remind myself because it's it's just crazy it's it's quite bad the way the way things are going and um, I I just need to chill I really need to chill so I woke up one morning at 4 and I realized that uh, stressing about this stuff is just not doing me any favors at all and it's not like if I stress more about it it's going to um, alleviate the, the issue it's gonna solve the problem no it's not it's the problem still gonna be there so I'm stressing for nothing so that's it I, I needed to explain this to you because in case you're wondering why I, I you know I canceled the crisscross Tuesday and why I've been offline quite a lot it's because this is my way of actually dealing with it and um, right or wrong there's no right or wrong because this is just you know it's, it is what it is like my buddy Adrian always says it is what it is and that's just the way it, it has to be for now and uh, I think it's working because I've been sleeping better eating better and I feel less stressed uh, it's, it's a weird thing try just getting rid of this this stress in your life really helped now a lot of you out there are going through a lot of stuff and I sympathize I absolutely sympathize and you might think this is a weird way of doing things but it's like I said there's no right or wrong this is just the way I'm doing it this is the way I'm handling it uh, or dealing with it right or wrong it doesn't matter it's just it's just what it is it is what it is so forgive me for the uh, lack of uploads but it is very possible that um, you'll only see more car reviews and and uh, walk arounds uh, next year 2022 I'm, I'm really hoping fingers crossed that 2022 is gonna be better than uh, what what 2021 has been you know for the last what six months or so anyway I hope everybody out there is doing good I hope everybody out there is doing as well as they can possibly be doing given given the uh, the circumstances yeah the the one piece of advice I can give you is try to be as stress-free as possible it's a very stressful situation absolutely I'm not saying there's no stress out there there is and everybody you meet is dealing with a situation or situations that you have no idea about so if you can't be anything be kind be nice you have no hello any, any, any conversation can be interrupted with a good hello. <laughs> People are dealing with stuff you have no idea how bad it is for them, you know? And if they're putting on a brave face, that is how they're dealing with it, just to be as stress-free as possible. So, you know, if you, like I said, if you can't be anything, just be nice. That's the, that's the, least, you can, that's the least you can do. And uh, be cool. We're gonna get through this we're gonna get through this for sure but it's just gonna take time it's just, it's just gonna take time I am here to check on the Accord as you can see there she is and uh, just getting some stuff done to the Accord while since Kenzone is open which is kind of cool I'm glad they are so anyway I just wanted to say that 
just a very quick 10 minute update of what's going on in my world. Sorry, parking. Parking a brick wagon is a bit daunting when you don't have uh, reverse sensors. But you know what? It makes you a better driver. Like I've always said, the less stuff you got going on makes you a better driver. Take care, everybody. Be safe, be cool, be nice, and uh, stay safe on the road. I don't know why, but the drivers have gone a bit crazy these last few weeks or months. Uh, just, just be aware of your surroundings. And uh, yeah, we're going to get through this. It's just a matter of time. And uh, I'll see you all soon. Bye, y'all. Oh, Volvo. Power. <laughs>